what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to be showing you how to hippo on the three main zephyr bridge maps as of season seven manor lunari and end city i hope you find this video informational and really helpful uh new players i think this can improve your skill a lot because hippos are a big part of getting early game pressure um, if you want to download this practice map that includes the three main maps, um, join discord.gg slash Zephyr Bridge. The link will be in the description. You can download it in there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Alright, so the first map that I'll be showing you guys is End City. This map is also known as Endor or just End. But its actual name is End City. So right here we have the End Timer button, which basically just showcases your time and stops the timer. Right here we have your settings, where you can change it to seconds or milliseconds. Now I will not do this mid-game because it'll be really weird. Um, you should only use two stacks of blocks. Um, so right here you have your pressure plate, and then you can move your pickaxe around however you want and it'll stay there so just end your timer step on the pressure plate and start so let's show you so right here you can see i start my hippo by going down here and i basically just spam blocks now right there i did two blocks tall because it's easier to defend i'll make a tutorial on that later so then i just replicate the same thing on the other side and I place a little blocks over there to make it easier to defend again. And then I just make a little kind of arch across the thing. And then I just spam two block tall blocks. Um, I try to mine blocks that are in my way with inst mining. Um, and then I just place a row like that. Do that and then I click the button. All right, so the next map we are going to be showing you is Lunari. This map is also known as Starlight Castle or just Castle, but its actual name is Lunari and if you call it Starlight Castle you are a psychopath. So right here you can see two hippos over there and one down here. Same rules as the other one, you got your settings, all of that. All right, so and I start off here by just spamming blocks above me all along there and then I go back and I burst double click to do that and then I just look in front of me and I keep spamming butterfly and right here I do the same exact thing except one block and then I cover up the stairs to make it easier to defend and then I make this little whole row over here it's kind of just the same thing over and over again I did that with the main hippo too and then on this part I kind of just spam blocks and block off the stairs and then add another block just to be safe. Right here I replicate the same thing that I did on the other side. I kind of mess up it a little but nobody's perfect. Um, so then I just go over spam blocks just like I did on the other side. And I click the timer and that's it. Alright so there are my hippos. I'm actually going to put a link to Soul Spirit's hippo on this map because his hippos are definitely the best. Now the video is a little bit laggy, but that is alright. The link will be in the description to the video, so go ahead and watch that. I really recommend it if you want to get faster with Lunari. Alright, so the next map is going to be Manor. Uh, same rules once again. This map, um, it's going to be honest, this is the worst out of the three main ones, but it is still decent and we're going to show you. Alright, so to start off by just spamming blocks above me, um, you can't really place blocks in there unless you're on a red team, and then I just go do what I did on Lunari, I just look and spam blocks with Butterfly. I add a few blocks in there just to be safe. And then I run out of blocks there, which usually doesn't happen. Um, you will be able to fill in that whole thing. Um, and then I just go back, fill in the rest of it, do once again the same thing. Just look in front and spam blocks. Um, I add a little top thing there. And I cover up the sides because people like to run around back there. Um, 
I'm not sure if you'll still be able to do that in season eight. You can see I kind of just glitched there. That won't happen on Zeko just because this is in our world. Um, so yeah, that is basically my whole hippo. Wow. All right, so as you can see, this is my completed hippo. Once again, join discord.gg slash Zekobreeds. There's a ton of people. I already made a video about this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.